Yo, HSR is getting some crazy changes to Endgame. We just got a new Voice of the Galaxy developer radio, that's what they call it, special edition, where they will be bringing some important gameplay elements, system adjustments, and optimizations. And they are adding some crazy stuff. I peeked over it like uh, a couple minutes ago, and yeah, they're adding a lot of stuff. It is 6 a.m., so I'm just kind of chilling, no cam. I'm gonna enjoy my Jin Man, the PNG. But um, yeah, so first thing, new permanent game mode inside of Forgotten Hall. We are getting a permanent game mode called Pure Fiction, which is going to come out in version 1.6, which is another end game mode, permanent content, and you can get jades from it. So it's gonna be extra jades we probably get per patch. I don't know if this extra jades is going to refresh. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, I don't mind getting one-time jades, you know, like uh, Swarm Disaster. In pure fiction, enemies will continuously respawn. You can earn points by dealing damage or defeating enemies at the end of each battle. The highest score achieved in that challenge will be recorded. So it's got some sort of uh, achievement system and it records your score, which is really cool. And the more enemies you defeat, the more damage you deal with the limited cycles, the higher your score will be. Please try to defeat as many enemies as possible to earn a high score within the number of cycles allotted. Yeah, this seems pretty sick. This kind of seems like uh, the event that's currently going on right now, but like going higher than 100k is the score, which seems very interesting because they also have a mode with buffs. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, I think you can also get buffs in this as well, unless the buffs is for something else. But we're also getting Forgotten Hall stages 11 and 12 for Memory of Chaos. People have been asking for extra floors in Genshin for like for like years and you know hsr is just like you know what we're gonna give it to you on what are we 1.5 right now not it's not even it's not it's crazy the quality of life you know hsr may have it dead periods and everything with this but the quality of life they don't miss they do not miss but um 11 and 12 just extra stages that are going to be added in version 1.6 and they're gonna have three star ratings as well and they're going to be giving jades on top of that so you're going to be able to get 720 jades from memory of chaos each phase on top of the jades from pure fiction which is insane they just yo, they're just giving out jades like they just want you that you know they just want us to be eaten free to play is eating good free to play is eating good and then next we have a forgotten hall auto clear function online grind less i actually didn't look at this but there's in addition to increase in stages of rewards, the Forgotten Hall auto clear function will be introduced. After the version 1.6 update, Trailblazers can quickly clear the Forgotten Hall without needing to re challenge previous stages based on the highest three star level from the past Memory of Chaos. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, if you beat a high level, you'll beat all the previous stages. Wait, that's insane. So they're kind of make it like uh, like Genshin Abyss, except it doesn't refresh you. Like the old floors. But you'll still have the jades from the old floors, obviously. So you can start at 7 every time, so you only have to play 5 uh, Memory of Chaos levels effectively. That's pretty nice. That's huge, actually. That's very huge. Um, this is just an example, I'm guessing. Yeah. So yeah, you can start on stage 7 and go from 7 to 12. That is huge. That is actually so huge. Yeah, we're eating on Endgame. We are eating on Endgame, man. All right, what is this? Team setup, memory, and then a challenge retry function launch. Is this a team selector? Oh, no, they showed this. They showed this in the live stream. Yeah, we're getting a retry button on either half of MOC. This is, this is another thing Genshin could add easily. This is one button just allow me to retry when I die or just let me retry wherever I'm at just let me click retry yo I, I accidentally ting you nulted or I'm testing out something and I don't want to do that test run anymore let me just retry real quick like why do I gotta wait you know it doesn't make any sense taking a little sip of water yeah so the team setup memory feature will be launched in version 1.5 oh we're getting this early okay Furthermore, when the Trailblazer selects Restart Challenge during a battle, they will return to the map before entering the current battle. Previously spent Technique Points, you even get your Technique Points back, which is huge. I love that it's on second half. This is so big for like, uh, for like CC. 
it may not be as huge for like regular players. Not, I feel like this is good for everyone. This is good for everyone. Like specifically though, for making videos, like say you just want to record a second half clear or something. Now you can just record second half. Pretty nice. And then they are adjusting the availability phase. Oh yeah, so this is just like a calendar on how this stuff is going to come out. So week one through six is going to be Memory of Chaos with the first buff. Then week seven through 10 is gonna be the second buff. And two and three are gonna overlap, I guess. I'm interested in what that means with the overlap. And Pure Fiction is also going to have three phases of it that's going to change. Okay, that's interesting. And Pure Fiction 2 goes all the way from Memory of Chaos 2 and 3. Interesting. Okay, I've this calendar's a little bit confusing, but will probably make more sense once they like actually show it. Because there's a lot of overlap. Like, I'm confused on how uh, Memory of Chaos 2 is overlapping Memory of Chaos 3. Because usually it's like, Memory of Chaos resets and like it has a new buff. So it's like, is there going to be two buffs going at the same time? That wouldn't make sense. Yeah, I don't know what this means for 9 and 10, but yeah, we'll probably see when it comes out. And then Pure Fiction 3 also gets cut off, so what does that mean? Yeah, a lot of stuff that will probably just make more sense when it uh, actually comes out. But anyways, um, this stuff at the bottom here, yeah, this is just timing and stuff like that. Yeah, and they're also giving an extra self-modeling resin for completing Forgotten Hall of Pure Fiction. That's huge. Definitely need those self-modeling resins. Getting a Battle Pass update or the Nameless Glory, whichever you know it by. They're giving extra, oh no, with the extra jades, when you hit level 50, you can also get another self-modeling resin. Pretty sure this is for the paid Battle Pass though. So like paid Battle Pass users can get two modeling resins instead of the one. And they're making it so that you can over cap on the, the, uh, battle pass here by going from 51 to 70 giving you extra credits and extra relic xp this is huge this is another thing wanted to be added in genshin for a minute now it hasn't been there this is very huge for the relic xp i need relic xp so bad right now that's very big and then we have a reward adjustment plan at the same time the crew will also be continually making adjustments to nameless on the rewards for example switching gift to the past right reward to universal trace materials Okay, okay, okay. This is just for people that buy the Battle Pass. If you're a Battle Pass buyer, you know, it affects you. And then there's going to be some Relic Enhancement Optimization. We we'll add a function. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. You can select level. So, you know, I want to be, I want to get this level to, you know, I want to get this Relic to level 3 without selecting the relics by hand. It'll auto do it. Or, you know, let's say you wanna go like midway. I wanna go level six, level nine, you know? You can go any of those, level 12, level 15. You can just choose it to very nice. There's gonna be a recommended relic function. This will probably be scuffed for a while, not gonna lie. They have this in Genshin. And as for example, like Zhao, it tells you to max out your burst first, which is just garbage. Obviously they're talking about relics, but they have artifacts too, and sometimes the stats are wrong. Relics though, relics can be more accurate, you know, because it's like, uh, is a character a crit character like HP, or what are they running on like their body or like their planar pieces? And there's a new discard relic function in the pipeline to mark relics they don't need when obtaining or sorting through relics. Oh, that's nice. Wait, so you can salvage it as you get it. That's huge. That's pretty nice. And you can relic filter for relics that do not have specific specs. So you can just salvage them and so that's kind of nice. Also getting some Trailblazer profile settings expansion. Okay. The starting number of displayed characters will be increased in the Starfang Companions. Oh, so you can showcase more characters. You know, they need to make it so you can see the relics. I don't know why they didn't add this. Whenever you look at someone's like character, let's say like, uh, like the relics on it. Like if I look at my Enka real quick, right? You can't see like the actual stats of the relics that they're running for some reason. So like this, for example, you would only see the main stat and like what the relic is when you look at it in game. I can't open up my game. And take, um, I feel like opening up my game right now. But if you know, you've seen someone's profile, you know, you can't really see the stats on their thing. You can only see the relics that they're using and like what the main set is. 
so they should definitely fix that. I wonder if that's included with this, because it hasn't been said. And there also, oh, it does say there will be more Trailblazer information displayed on the profile, so maybe that will be included. And then on top of that, in the support screen, Trailblazers can pin some of their friends on top of the list, making it more convenient to use support characters every time. That's pretty nice, you know? You got that C6 friend, they got that maxed out character, all the Adolans, definitely pin them. Or you want to use your homie's character more consistently, definitely got to put a pin on them. I've definitely been using that. But let me know what you guys think about these. This is huge. This changes everything. <laughs>